Hello everyone once again, this is Rob and welcome back to Media Awareness and another album review. Before I continue, however, a quick reminder that the fundraiser continues. For those of you unaware, I am a disabled individual and I utilize a motorized wheelchair slash scooter all day every day for my independence and I need your help. My insurance will not cover anything with regard to my scooter as they view it as a quote, luxury item, end quote. Despite the fact that it is the only type of uh, independence I can really uh, utilize. Uh, I have dexterity issues uh, which prevent me from using a standard wheelchair or any other type of scooter for that matter. That being stated, this is all I have, and the continued upkeep and replacement of essential functional functioning parts is imperative, and it's imperative now more than ever. Below this video, you'll find a spot fund account where you can contribute to this fund, um, and I would really, really appreciate any and all support. I do want to extend a gracious thanks to those who have contributed thus far as your contributions have made a world of difference in my life. And I want to extend that same thank you to those who plan on donating as it really, truly means the world to me. And you all are wonderful. I love you all. Thank you to those who have and thank you in advance to those who plan on. It really is amazing. Thank you. So... This is a band that I should have been aware of, uh, considering I'm very, uh, I'm acquainted with members of the band, but I didn't realize that this was a project. Pattern, pattern Seeking Animals, and the newest album of the band is titled Spooky Action at a Distance. Try saying that 10 times really fast. It is an album that was released a few weeks ago towards the end of October. And um, it consists of uh, some uh, members from Spock's Beard. And this album, this band was a band that, like I said, I should have been aware of them, I was not, and I really wish I was. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ted Leonard. I think that he is an amazing vocalist, incredible lyricist, and arranger. Um, just an all-around uh, great guy. Um, and um, I, I kind of feel bad that I didn't know about this release until now, but I'm glad I found out about it sooner rather than later. That being stated, this is the band's fourth studio album. Uh, so there are three prior to this. I would recommend checking them out as well. This album, however, is really a good, solid, progressive rock album. And it's a good introduction to progressive rock in the aspect that it doesn't bombard you with overly long uh, epics as, as we would call them in the progressive rock genre. For those of you uninitiated, an epic is a song that is longer than average. And I'm not talking Bohemian Rhapsody long or Hotel California long. I'm talking uh, 10 minutes or longer, um, typically speaking, in most cases. And this album really doesn't uh, veer into that territory. It's, it has digestible music. And I think that's what makes this album work as a gateway sort of into progressive rock. For those that are really sort of on the fence or 
not even really aware that the genre is still a thing. You know, progressive rock was the big rage in the late 60s throughout the 1970s sporadically. And then it sort of tapered off and reemerged uh, very firmly and, and uh, growing throughout the 90s and all throughout the early 2000s. And now we are in 2023 in early November, to be precise. And I have in my hand here, Spooky Action at a Distance. Let me show you my CD. So here is the album. It's front cover. Great artwork. Back cover. Sorry about the glare. And as you can see, it is a standard jewel case. And you open it up. And inside, you have various liner notes on one side with a booklet and the CD on the other side. My preference as far as packaging is concerned for CDs, um, as it's easier for me personally to handle, I know that's something that is not necessarily taken into consideration by record companies, but for a disabled individual with dexterity issues myself, I find it difficult to work with uh, the slip cases as they're known, or the cardboard sleeves. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, they are really difficult for me. And I prefer jewel cases or digipacks. But this. This album. It surprised me. Uh, first time I listened to it. I was a little bit. Uncertain of what I thought. And second time. It settled in with me. And really really felt right. Uh, in particular, there's a song on here called Bulletproof that was on the uh, last Box Spirit album that was made. Uh, and it was always in a song that I really enjoyed. Um, however, it was on the bonus disc of that album. And I do have it, but I like that it was re reworked and re-recorded for this album, Spooky Action at a Distance. Ted Leonard's vocals are really strong on this album. Playing is really strong by all members, actually. Uh, Jimmy Keegan on, on drums, Keenan, sorry, um, is really uh, solid. And initially, when I heard uh, one of the tracks prior to having this, I, I didn't particularly like the drum sound, but it was only that particular track, and I think it was just a poor recording, because the drum sound on this album is great. Bass, Dave always sounds great. If this band can continue on, I really think that it's, it's going to be a pretty impressive future for them. The primary members of Pattern Seeking Animals are Dave Naros on bass guitar, Ted Leonard on guitar and lead vocals, Jimmy Keegan on drums, and John Bolgerhold on guitar as well. I would like to see Spock's Beard do some more together. I don't know if Alan is necessarily uh, geared towards that, Al Morris, of course, and um, Rio Akimoto. Uh They're not featured with this band, but they are members of Spock's Beard, and I don't really know what's going on with Spock's, but in the meantime, we have Pattern Seeking Animals, 
and like I said, this is one of four albums. I plan on getting the previous three uh, as soon as I can possibly do so. But in the meantime, we have this one. And this is really a solid album. It has its highs, it has its lows, it has, you know, the up tempo, low tempo, um, just an all around great, great album. And I can't even pick a favorite song on this album. They are all really great songs, very well composed, well thought out, and like I said, the playing is just really fantastic. Um, so, I would really recommend checking out the fourth studio album from Pattern Seeking Animals. Spooky Action at a Distance. And make this part of your CD collection. Once I do have the opportunity to add the previous three albums to my collection of Pattern Seeking Animals, I will be an extremely happy animal. And in the meantime, I will be listening to this fairly consistently as I'm really impressed with it. So there you have my review of Pattern Seeking Animals Spooky Action at a Distance. Pick it up now. Available from Inside Out Music, wherever records are sold. This is Rob with Media Awareness. Once again, reminder that the fundraiser continues. Donate the $10 today at Skip Your Cafe Latte and make my day. As my cat pleads for your help. Have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.